All right, guys. So I want to hit on a, a, a topic that's going to be uh, continuing to surface, and that is um, Dodge is now offering the Super Trackback to V6 uh, owners. And this is going to um, kind of blur the trim lines a little bit. Um, the Super Track Pack for the V6 is going to look almost identical as the RT Super Track Pack. It's going to resemble a debadged Scat Pack it's, or, or debadged Daytona. Um, and basically all a, a, a person with a Super Track Pack has to do is get a couple of phony badges um, and some rims and a spoiler and you have yourself what appears to be a $50,000 car and uh, you didn't pay anywhere near that. So um, I kind of am bringing this up because I want to know what your thoughts are on this particular topic. Um, I myself think that Dodge is kind of blurring the trim lines a little too much um, as it is. Now they did something similar with the RT and I rushed to the defense of uh, the RT. And the reason why is because the RT is still a V8. Okay, and it's the only V8 in the whole lineup that looks drastically different than all the other V8s. So the Super Track Pack allowed the, the, the RT to kind of resemble what the other trim levels were. Now, the RT with the Super Track Pack still has, you know, it doesn't look as aggressive as what a Scat Pack would be or a Daytona. Um, it's, you know, kind of a dulled down version, which is what it should actually be. Uh, if you take all the V8s and the Hemis and you put them in a line, uh, each trim should get a little bit more aggressive or have its own little custom touches. And I think um, Dodge is kind of losing this uh, a little bit. You know, if you take um, a V6 with a Super Track Pack and you put it up against a v uh, uh, um, an RT with a Super Track Pack, it's now going to look virtually identical. The only thing that separates the two really are the uh, the badges on the side and the front. Um, and, you know, to me, that that's just... Uh, I think that's blurring the lines too much. Um, there should be a difference per trim. And to allow V6 owners um, this package, it's, it's interesting. And I, obviously, I know why Dodge is, is doing it. It's uh, to get more sales. There are so many people that come into uh, probably, you know, dealers and, you know, they're, they're, you know, you see it online all the time. I'm going to get a scat pack. I'm, I'm going to do this. You know, you have all these people with big dreams and, you know, they go into the dealer and then they finally crunch some numbers and then they realize, well, you know what? A scat pack is not as cheap as what you initially thought. And so they settle for the V6 or they just leave because they can't afford it. Well, this super track pack for 1200 bucks is going to allow you know people that were in love with the styling of a higher trim level and now they get it for you know probably half the price you know and so yeah let me know what you guys think on this this topic i don't want to dive too far into it because um you know it could get a little on the lengthy side but um i'm definitely curious to know what you guys think uh, about this and uh, what do you think Dodge is making a mistake um, doing this or you think it's fine or you know just let me know what you think